Today, we're going to take a look at not one, but three train games that have recently come from Rio Grande Games. Thank you for joining us here at Tantrum House. Jonah and I are going to share with you three train games. Now, these were originally published by Winsome Games, but Rio Grande Games picked them up for a wider distribution. They sent us these to review. Yeah, so we'll do a brief overview of each one of these games, and then we'll share some of our thoughts at the end. Let's start with Golf, Mobile, and Ohio. Players will be building railroads set in the mid-1800s, featuring cities from Richmond to New Orleans and from Memphis to Savannah. In Gulf, Mobile, and Ohio, players will be bidding on railroad shares and expanding railroad lines, gaining victory points based on the queues placed and whether it has been chartered. In Southern Rails, three to five players compete to own shares in six different railroads. Once a player owns a share in that railroad, they become able to build tracks that will connect more cities to that railroad's network, which in turn increases the value of that company's shares. Southern Rails is set in the Southern United States. Trans-Siberian Railroad is set in the late 1800s Russia. Players are purchasing shares of different railroad companies that span across Russia. But beware, if the share price goes too low, the railroad will become nationalized and you'll lose control of your shares to the czar. So that's a brief overview of the three games. What I find interesting is how there can be so many different mechanics <laughs> with basically the same thing. Yeah, I love train theme games and all of these have the same sort of bidding aspect because you're buying shares of the yeah. different railroads. But then the three games definitely diverge from there. Yeah, in Southern Rails, there are times where you bid on stocks and there are time, set times where players take turns placing out the cubes and connecting the cities. But in the other two games, players will be buying shares throughout the whole game. Also in Gulf and Trans-Siberian, a lot of the money to expand a specific railroad is not the player's money, but their railroad's money. In Trans-Siberian, whoever has the most shares of a railroad is allowed to expand a railroad. Yeah. In Southern Rails, as long as you have stock in a company, you're allowed to place out a cube. Let's move to theme. All right. Well, you've got the historical side with mm -hmm. different kinds of railroads going to cities in the USA and Russia. And those are real cities <laughs> in the real world. I think the theme comes a little bit better in Trans-Siberian, especially through the gameplay. You're trying not to become nationalized. There comes a point in the game where if your stock price isn't above a certain level, then the government comes in and takes over your railroad and purchases <laughs> your shares from you. Yeah. It sort of feels like a race. And you're trying to stay above that level. Yeah. Aesthetics wise, I think the it's I mean it's a little bland <laughs> agree, overall. Yeah, it's that. a little bland, okay? Southern Rails and Gulf both just have hexes covering the whole board. Um, I'd like to have seen a little bit better graphic design to just punch up the games a little bit. I agree. Trans Siberian's a little bit better on the, that front. I think it looks a little bit more like a map of Russia with the train routes covering the board. Yeah. For replayability, I think all of them have good replayability. I agree. They all are competitive games, which I like a lot. And you'll be competing not only through the bidding process on sure. what shares you can get, but also where the rail lines go from city to city. Sure, yeah. All three games play in about an hour, which I think is great for these type of games. And they all play three to five players. The bidding really wouldn't work with less than that. Right. I personally enjoy them at a higher player count because there's a little bit more competition. <laughs> like the competition. Right? If you were okay. going to purchase just one, this is what I'd recommend. If you want the easiest one to jump into, probably Southern Rails. Okay. The most difficult is definitely Trans-Siberian Railroad. My personal favorite actually is Trans-Siberian out of all these three. Nice. Uh, Kevin actually did a full review of Gulf, Mobile, and Ohio, mm -hmm. if you want to check that out, and we'll put a link to it in the comment section. Yes, yeah, so let us know in the comments what your favorite train theme game is, and if you've played any of these three that we've mentioned in the video. Yeah, if you like bidding, network, building tile, style, games, then yeah. check out one of these titles from Rio Grande Games. And of course, like always, if you like what we're doing here at yeah. Tantrum House, like our video and subscribe to our channel.